I'm Dr. Kelly Christopher, and I'm the executive director of the STEM Greenhouse. I have been doing after school programming for several years, and this is the first summer that we are doing a summer program. One of the reasons that we wanted to do the summer program was so that we could have more time with students. Typically after school, we might see them an hour and a half, twice a week. Um, this time we can spend, you know, eight hours a day with them. During the school year in our in-person, in-school program, we're seeing students about twice a week. So in our program, we're seeing them five days a week. And we all know exposure means more connection. So we're able to build better connections with the students and are able to engage them academically more than if we see them just twice a week. This summer, we have about 50 middle school students in our program, primarily from Grand Rapids, but um, also some outlying areas. And we're just, we're just thrilled to have so many children of color participate, so many staff that are people of color and volunteers that are working with us. This summer, we're really fortunate that they're able to take, they have a math class, um, they have science classes, they have uh, a special curriculum, Bridges to Enter Advanced Mathematics, they have that class, they have additional future urban STEM educator uh, class, as well as an English class they have a lot more opportunities to spend time in STEM. My involvement in the STEM program is to work with students and support them in mathematics. It's amazing to see um, their perspective on math now compared to what it was when they first came into the program. And so that's something that I'm excited about, that's something that I'm proud of, because now their experience and their outlook towards math is completely different. In the English class, we do things called quick writes, where they're able to discuss their feelings. I've had uh, discussions about um, things they want to be when they grow up. Um, I had discussions about uh, one of the worst times in their life. I've had discussions about one of the happiest times in their life. And it's all about expression. When we had that quick write, I told them, don't let anyone ever make you feel you can't accomplish these goals. It's going to take work, it's going to take dedication, and it's going to take responsibility. And whatever you want to do in life, you do got to work hard in the education system as well. No matter how uh, people look at education, you can't be safe. And, and you got to take chances, and that's what education is. Those unexplored things that you have to venture into, take that chance, because if no one took that chance, we would still be back in the day of, of just walking on foot. Because anything that you can imagine is possible. It is my goal that Every child, especially children who do not have access to science teachers, as most do in the schools that I work with, that they would have an opportunity to attend this program. Our goal is to increase the number of students that we serve and to find partners in our community like Davenport University, like Spectrum Health, that see the importance of engaging children of color in STEM. I would say to any student that you cannot wait until you are a, gro a grown up to prepare for that career. The things that you learn in middle school are going to help you with high school. The things in high school are gonna help you in college. So even if you're not sure what you wanna be when you grow up, we wanna make sure that you're prepared for whatever might come your way, that whatever opportunity presents itself, whatever you seem to be most passionate about, you would have the opportunity to enter that field because you have the academic preparation that you need.